The Patriots now second favorite to win the, the AFC. Pretty wild. Yeah. I mean, what's well, wild is we've now got back New England versus Kansas City. Yep. I assume Kansas City is the other favorite. Kansas City is the favorite, yes. There you go. So then you've got those top two teams like we had with Mahomes versus, versus Brady. So that's the fun part about it. I just think the fun thing at this point in time in the season, and it's just like hard not to like laugh about it or smile, is you've like a, as of right now, it looks like New England's angling for Tampa. Like that's what our Super Bowl is going to be in LA. It's going to be unbelievable if that ends up being the storyline. I mean, I, I can only imagine, but Tampa looks to be one of the best teams in the NFC. The Patriots are what on a seven game win streak. Is that right right now? Patriots have won seven games in a row heading into their bye. It's correct. like they're the you know the other hottest team yep. in the NFL. It's hard not to sit there and go, holy crap, you could get a Brady versus Belichick Super Bowl before it's all said and done. I don't know that after last year, like we thought that was gonna be possible. No. Like it, it looked like after last year, like hey, Tom, it was all about Tom Brady, like he was the guy. Um, that was what led them. And now like Belichick comes rearing back after this offseason, probably one of his best draft classes in what a decade. Oh, yeah. And you're going, oh, that that like we may get treated to See, quite possibly thank, thank the greatest storyline in the history of the NFL. The greatest storyline in the history of sports, because you we all right. First of all, the probability of the Patriots dynasty existing for 20 years is really, really minuscule. Like it's the greatest dynasty in the history of sports. It's almost impossible to pull off in the free agency uh, era of, of professional yeah. football. And then salary cap free agency. Yeah, salary cap free agency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salary cap era and the free agency era. And then to have the the quarterback who stuck with the he had the same coach, the same quarterback for 20 years. So no transition whatsoever. The quarterback leaves, wins the Super Bowl with this other team, and then might meet the same coach in the Super Bowl two years later, and people are like, I don't want to see that. It's like, are you nuts? This will, this is who like, says they don't want to see that. I, I, I mentioned that I was like, this is what I said on Twitter, like, this is what we're rooting for. People are like, I don't want to see that. Boy, it's like, this is like, I mean, I, I'm trying to think what is so rare that it's like an asteroid hitting Earth. Like, that's how rare it is, which is I mean, not starting to seem like more likely than not these days. So, true. so I, just, I, well. I mean, like, ha like Haley's Comet comes around more often than this, than the chances of this happening. God, do you remember the people who believed it was like a sign or something and they all drank the Kool-Aid and, and died? Yeah. It was like a mass suicide? Yeah. Not, that was not, crazy. Not, I remember not, being a young kid when that happened, my parents trying to explain what the hell that was. I have no idea what that has to do with the top three contenders out of the AFC. But, 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 but uh, I'll ask you this. Are you drinking the Pats Kool-Aid? <laughs> <laughs> if it's not going to kill me, then yes. I am. But that's where you know Danny Cannell... Danny Cannell's asked me this every week for the past five weeks. And I kept saying, ah, not quite, not quite, not quite, not quite. And then this past week, I am. And I think it purely has to do with the fact that they were able to beat the Buffalo Bills in their house with their arm tied behind their back. Yeah. Like literally a one dimensional. They tied, they tied their, their arm behind their back and said, let's get. They tied their own let's arm. Let's get weird. <laughs> and they still beat the Bills. I was like, it was like quite possibly the hardest flex. We've seen in the NFL in quite some time. We haven't seen that few pass attempts since, what, 1974 or something like that? Uh, yeah, that, 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 yeah. And they didn't even need to throw the last two passes. They could have easily just thrown like one pass the whole game. Uh, Not if you'll bring up the um, the the seeds again, because I just want to – what are your, your thoughts on the uh, top three, uh, Brady, in terms of the – I mean, it's, it's New England, it's Kansas City, and then it's a, kind of a big question mark in my mind. Like, yeah. I don't buy into Tennessee. I just think since they've lost Derrick Henry, it's been a – completely different team the Colts are another like kind of hot team right now you might want to start thinking about and then, want to see they're, Baltimore they're the I'm not seed. giving up on yep I, I know Baltimore's been like tough right now but New England Baltimore and Kansas City are to me the top three out of the AFC the thing for New England that I like so much about them and we saw it we saw it last night we saw it when they played the Chargers they're just so physical and diverse in their run game that like look at these teams Buffalo bat at stop of the run you know, I don't, I'm not, if it's, if it's Sean McVay or, and, you know, Bengals, Pats, I'm, I'm taking the Pats and, you know, just out of principle. Chargers can't stop the run. Chiefs have been better, but I think the Pats can run on them. I think they can, I think they, I think the Pats can run on any team that they, there's not a team that's like, oh, that might be the Pats kryptonite, right? Like, I, that's the thing. And if the Pats get that one seed, you're talking about all these teams, several of whom are, are you know, I mean, 
tough. I guess they're tougher teams, but a lot of them you know, sort of pass. Like they might have to come to New England, and it might be just disgusting weather. And we've seen this a billion times. And Belichick's just going to flex on them again. Although Mac will have to do something at some point. Yes, you know, for sure. I, for sure. I really do believe that because everyone's going to be looking at that game plan and you know figuring out a way to forcing him to have to do more in the, in those conditions. So. Yeah. Um, all right, so I would I would go New England, Kansas City, uh, and then I'm with you. I think it's a very like hot. It's it's tough to pick who your third contender would be. I think I'll still go Buffalo, but I'm I'm a little worried that the Pats may have put them in a bad mental state of mind. 